brackets and you divide it by m the slope so this is the equation you need to put here so we'll put equal to so our y is our response which you have here so we'll start the bracket open brackets <coughs> y minus intercept close the bracket and divide it by m slope so you just selected the corresponding boxes and the values come there and we click enter so this is the calculated value <coughs> sorry now if I was to just drag this down you will see we will get an error this is because when you drag the cell and copy or copy the cell so it will automatically change all the references but we don't want the reference for the slope and intercept to change so what we do is before the slope and intercept we add dollar signs dollar 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 and dollar so this what this means that it is a fixed reference it will always refer to the same cells so we get the correct result see and all of these it is again always referring to these two cells but the reference for the response is changing because we did not put dollar signs in the response cell okay so this is our calculated concentration we can change the number of decimal places we want to show so here we go two similarly for these cells two so now you can put any you know calibration data here and it will accordingly change all the results change the slope and intercept and you can also you know use different values of your sample response and you'll directly get the calculated concentration so let's make some space for the graph to be added so that it's a neat printout when it comes out we can resize the graph and we just take it here and make it a bit smaller or maybe we'll just increase the width for these cells this is we are doing just to make it look nice when it comes out on one page so you can add your logo above that not add that here so your sheet is now ready for calculations now you might also need to calculate the dilution factor because number of times you will actually uh, you know dilute your samples before you inject them on a system so it's very easy to calculate the dilution factor so we'll just say units here and we'll say weight or aliquot taken and diluted to so usually you will start with some weight say I start in well, you know grams and then all further dilutions are in ml usually you will not do more than three steps of dilution so this is pretty useful so like we took one gram and we diluted it to 10 ml then we took 1 ml and diluted again to 10 ml 1 ml diluted again to 10 ml and again 1 ml diluted to 10 ml so to calculate my dilution factor it is very simple is equals to this cell or the final dilu no, dilution step divided by whatever amount I took multiplied by the previous dilution divided by whatever aliquot I took there again multiply divide multiply and divide so you can see I've just reversed that and I have my dilution factor so like we diluted it 10 10 10 10 so we 10,000 fold so our dilution factor is correct here so if I don't want to use all the cells I just put 1 1 and the dilution will be the same so say I took 5 grams made it into 100 ml and then to 1 ml and so this is my dilution factor so for my undiluted concentration I simply multiply this concentration with my dilution factor again I need a fixed reference so I add my dollar signs here 
So this is my undiluted concentration. Again, I will just quickly adjust the decimals that I can take. And uh, there you go, our sheet is ready. You can also, you know, add fields in the bottom like uh, uh, you know the person who did the work and for quality assurance. So, like I want to do analyze analyst name signature and date, and I also want to add check by name signature and date. And I can also, you know, add any other field that I want. So then it becomes mandatory. Now comes the part where I have to lock this sheet. So it's very simple. First, you decide which cells you want to leave open. So in this case, the concentration and response would need to be, you know, left open because uh, this is the value you need to enter. So you just select the cells, right click, format cells, go to protection, and we unlock them. Same way, all of this needs to stay protected, so we're not going to unlock that. But the response for the samples need to be corrected, uh, entered every time. So we'll go there, format cells, unlock these. Also, my dilution fields need to be entered every time, so we'll unlock these. But dilution factor need not be there. Rest, everything needs to be protected. So now I can also quickly insert my logo just to show you. I made space for it. Go to insert picture and I'll just locate my logo. You're getting a look at all my files here. <laughs> mm. Okay, documents, logos. So that's the logos for my companies. And I just insert that. I can quickly resize it and place it here. I can check what the printout is going to look like by going to view and look at page break preview. So it's all coming on one page. Maybe this N is not fitting in. I can just say, okay, I want all of it in one page. Now you can see a print preview. I think it's a nice looking sheet. You can always improve the formatting. And now we need to protect the sheet. So we go to review, protect sheet. So people should be in not even, you know, they can maybe select load locked cells, select unlocked cells, but they can't format, enter any data. We'll even select locked cells. Um, not give them the option to select locked cells and we add a password. And will again ask me, repeat the password and there you go the sheet is locked see I can't click anywhere else but only in the cells where we allowed so we can again go to a normal view and there you go you have a sheet so whenever you want to use this sheet you can change the standard concentrations here change the response the equations stay the same the calculations will not be changed you can change response for your sample, you can add your dilution factors, and you'll get your undiluted concentrations. This is a generic example, but I would highly recommend adding the units to be entered, because if you use incorrect units, you'll always get wrong results. So I hope now you can make your own Excel sheet for calibration curve. Uh, this sheet is available as part of our training course uh, on our site and it's given there and also there are many more videos like this inside our training courses so i hope to see you on in one of those and enjoy thank you